Hi there, it's Candy from The Candy Show. I'm back. I, it's been so long since I've done a video. Um, as some of you know, I was moving. We sold our house and we lived in a hotel for a month. And then we moved into our new place, but it was still being built. And oh my God, there was just so much rigmarole. And then I was on the road. I was doing gigs uh, across the country here in Canada. So it's been way, way too long, but I'm happy, happy, happy to be with you today. Uh, I am in my new makeup room, although it is not set up yet. But you can see that I have beautiful um, purple walls I painted. Well, I didn't paint. I had some wonderful girls called the Handy Hers paint and they made it this lovely purple color so everything in here will be kind of like purples and pinks it's going to be fantastic and in the in the in the spirit of purples and pinks today i'm doing a tutorial with this uh, hello kitty palette which is just the most adorable little pink palette ever um, and i've used it to create the look that you see here so if you really like this look and you want to see how i got it please keep watching so I'm going to start by priming my face with Makeup Forever High Definition Primer. The foundation I'm going to use today is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Balance. If that'll zoom in. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Full Balance SPF 15. Uh, I'm going to put my foundation on with the Tarte brush that came with the foundation. I got this on um, QVC. Now I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Plus and just spray the bristles and I have a little palette that I put my foundation on so I'll just get some on the brush and then I'm just going to proceed to dot it all over my face so you look a little ghost like at first but then I just really buff it into the skin The color that I'm using in this foundation is uh, medium. They don't come in a lot of different colors, but I'm, I'm really liking it. It's uh, got really great coverage, and I love that there's an SPF in it. Uh, concealer, I'm going to use the Real Deal. Let me get that to focus. The Real Deal Concealer in medium, and this is by Laura Geller. This is just a little sample, and again, I'm just going to place a little bit of the product on the palette it takes so little see how little I've put there then I'm going to use a coastal sense um, concealer brush and just work that on all my travel spots under my eyes and I try to bring it up as close to my lash line as I can and a couple of broken capillaries above my lip I have like horrible horrible allergies and I have had all my life and as a result I blow my nose like a million times a day and over time I'm 43 so over time that has resulted in a permanent busted capillary on the top part of my lip which I am going to have lasered off at the end of this summer I'm doing full laser treatment for this um, this age spot with my age for this age spot right here and some broken capillaries I have and this busted one here and I will take you with me when I do that I'll give you as you know as good a picture before as I can and then an after picture so yeah there we go so concealer and foundation on for powder today I am using the absolutely invisible candlelight which is by Too Faced and um, it's just a clear translucent powder but it has a beautiful finish to it I feel it just gives me a bit of a luminosity and I'm using my Sigma F30 brush now I use bronzer all year round but because it's summer of course I really want to use bronzer and the bronzer I'm going to use today is the Too Faced uh, bronzer powder uh, chocolate soleil matte bronzing powder which has real cocoa and oh, smells like chocolate so good and i'm going to use a sigma f50 stippling brush let's get some of that on there and i'm going to go in to the contours of my face i'm using it to kind of contour and warm up the face around the edges again underneath the chin when you get up around the hairline, you have to make sure you really work that into the hairline because 
the sun would hit you in the hairline and it doesn't look natural if you have a big spot. Now I have a double chin so I'm also going to work some bronzer down here to try to disguise that just a little bit. Oh well, we all have our cross to bear. That's mine. So now I'm going to go into my eyes and today of course I'm using this lovely Hello Kitty palette. So the Hello Kitty palettes that I've, the other ones I have, have had shadow on the top, but then when you open the bottom, you get um, like a powder or a blush, but this one has shadows, eight shadows. So I'm gonna use the top layer of shadows to create my look today. And I'm gonna start it with um, a little Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And this is just the regular one. Let's get some of that on my eyelid. And I work it underneath the eye a little bit as well. So for this look, I'm going to start by putting a wash of uh, clear color all over the entire eye. And I'm going to use this color that's right down in the bottom here to do that. And I'm using a MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to get a nice wash of color onto the whole eye. I like to do this um, because I am not a professional makeup artist. And sometimes I struggle with blending. And particularly if your uh, shadow base, whatever eyeshadow primer you used, is a little sticky, I really struggle with the blending. So this is like almost the exact same as my skin color, but it has a tiny little bit of, a little bit of glimmer in it. I'm taking a Sigma E55 brush, which is very similar to the MAC 239. And I'm going in and grabbing this beautiful bright turquoise. Piling that on one side of my brush. Blow off the excess. And I'm just going to pile that on the lid from the lash to the crease. But don't go past the crease. And you want to concentrate that color to the outside of the lid. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm thinking, you know, what would have been really sharp is if I would have laid a cream base down in this turquoise first, but too late now. It is super hot here. I just came back from a bunch of gigs uh, in Ontario, Canada, where the humidex was like 42 degrees, and I am a big woman. I seriously thought I was going to die. It was really fun, though. Hey to everybody in the Chippewas of the Thames First Nation. It was so fun to be with you all and the Oneida people who also came. All right, now that I've got that color packed on the lid, I am going to reach for a MAC pencil brush, a 219, and I'm going to go in with this dark brown. Get some on the edge of the tip of the brush, and I'm going to put that in my crease. I'm going to make a fairly defined crease to begin with. And then just start to work that back and forth a bit. And I'm just closing up the little gap on the outside of the eye, right down to the lash line. Now I'm going back in with that same 217 that I used to put the wash of color at the beginning. And I'm going to take this real bright, creamy color at the top. And I'm going to lay that right under my eyebrow to give a bit of highlight. And then I'm going to bring some of that down onto my inner corner area. And then with whatever's left on the brush, just take that same brush and start working that brown. Like blend that brown out so that it softens up a bit. Some of that original color that I've put on the lid and I like to go back in and just retouch that, just brighten that up again. Now I wanna continue some of that turquoise down on the bottom part of my lid. So I am gonna take um, Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Electric which is this really cool turquoisey blue that kind of looks like that. And I'm going to start on the inner side, sorry, the inner part of my eye on the lower lash line, just right into the lash line, just working that in. Bring it all the way almost to the end. Now I'm going to go back in with a uh, small angle brush. I'm using the Sigma E65, and I'm going to pick up some more of that turquoise. And I'm just going to trace that liner that I've just done on the bottom. 
So now I'm going to go in with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Rockstar, which is a bit of an eggplant, but I find that you can, you can make it a brown if you work it. And I'm going to just work that across the top lash line. And then take that same pencil brush that you used to do your crease and go back in with some of the uh, dark, dark brown. And just smoke that brown out a bit. Just um, can't get enough of this turquoise color. I'm going to go back in with that electric pencil and I'm going to line my waterline with it on the bottom. Now for brows, if you can believe it, I am still getting the last life out of this Anastasia brow pencil. And I'm going to use the spoolie side to just put the brows into place. And then use the pencil side to fill in and darken where my brows are sparse. Now I'm going to apply some false lashes and I want to take a second here to do a little mini review. Um, I watch Emily Addington a lot, the beauty broadcast on YouTube, and she swears by this Revlon um, lash glue. It comes with a little kind of wand. So she, what she likes about it is that you can like really, you know, precisely get the glue on the lash. So I was at Walmart. I couldn't find it in any of the drugstores I go to, but I was at Walmart and I found it and I bought it and I hate it. Can't stand it. And thank God it was only like three or four bucks. Tell you what I don't like about it. First of all, all around the cap, it gets all gross. Um, and of course, because you're coming out and going in, um, I'd worry about the length of the time I'd want to use the product because like a mascara, you know, you can get some cross contamination on it. But the thing that I really hated about it, I couldn't friggin' get it off my eyes. So when I take the lashes off in the night, it's like two days later, I'm still picking gross, dried dry glue out of my lashes. So um, throwing that in the garbage right now. Hate it. Don't recommend it. Lash glue that I use all the time is the Duo Lash Glue and I have it in both um, the clear and the one that comes out gray but dries black. Um, and that's what I really recommend. Today I'm going to use the clear one. So I'm just going to get a little bit of the glue on my palette. I think everybody has their own process for lashes. I'm just using these real subtle little Quo uh, lashes. They're um, the Quo 802s. I'm just going to curl my lashes. I like to curl my lashes before I put my uh, false lashes on. So I'm using the Tarte Lash Curler, which is my current favorite lash curler. So everybody, like I said, has their own system for lashes. I'll show you what mine is. I have a pair of tweezers that I just save. I have a couple pair that I use only for um, putting lashes on. So these leopard prints are one of them. So I will grab one of the strips of lashes with the um, tweezers. And then I just work it a little bit like this to keep it nice and pliable, kind of like get rid of any of the stiffness. And then I have this tiny little plastic scooper. You can buy these, like the scoop is on this end. You can buy them in any like makeup supply store or whatever. And I just take the opposite end of the scoop and I dip it in my glue so that I get some glue tip. And then I just ever so carefully bring a bead of glue down the lash. Now I give that a few minutes. I have a makeup mirror just below the camera right here. But for lash uh, affixing, I feel that I need uh, something really up close. So I'm going to use the compact mirror from this to put these on. And what I try to do is I come in to the center and push the center where I want it. Open my eye to make sure that, yeah, that's where I'm going to want that. And then once I have the center in place, I put the inside corner on first because I have the most trouble with it. And then I fix the outside corner, open up again, perfectly placed. You can see I got a little glue on my lower lash line, but that's all right because when that clears, dries, that's going to dry all clear. There, now I'm waiting for the glue to dry on the lashes. I'm going to do my cheeks. And a makeup company that I've been loving is The Balm. And this is Hot Mama from The Balm. It's very similar to NARS's Orgasm, but
But they're all so cute. They kind of like there's Hot Mama, I have Frat Boy, Down Boy, a whole bunch of different ones like that. I just love these. I'm going to use my Sigma F40 blush brush to get a little of the product and then just kind of on the outsides of the apples of my cheeks and a little bit on my temple. And for highlight today, I am going to use Max Mineralized Face Powder, and this is in Be Lightful, which is a really nice shimmery, shimmery color. And what I use, like to put my highlighter on with is a small little stippling brush. So this is the MAC 188. And I'll just get a little of that on there. And I just like to plant that at the top of my cheeks, you know, where that natural light would hit. And then I like to bring a little down the, the bridge of my nose and a little across the top of my lip. Across my cupid's bow. A little on my chin. So I'm going to start by lining my lips with this MAC uh, Life's a Breeze lip pencil. This was from the To the Beach collection from a few years ago. And it's a beautiful uh, coral color. And the lipstick that I'm using is um, Yves Saint Laurent, and this is their his um, Rouge Volupt lipstick, which I love because the color of the lipstick is on this little section here. So this one's a peachy color, this one's a pinky color, and you can see the color difference. This is in number 30, and I can't remember the name of that. It's some kind of a peach. I'll put it in the uh, down bar below, and I'm going to just apply that right from the tube. Now the finishing touch on my face, now that my lash glue has dried, is I'm going to go in and apply some mascara. And today I am using the Stila Forever Your Curl Mascara. It's my little date stamp on it. I always date my mascaras as to when I have to throw them out. And I just like to go in and I love this mascara because it has, see, a very nice uh, small wand. And it curls as well as defines. So I just like to go in and sort of push my real lashes and my fake lashes together using the mascara. Now, sometimes, you know, you think you're done, but you're not really done, and I can't leave well enough alone. Um, I really wish I would have put a cream base on my, um, on my lid underneath that turquoise to make it pop. But since I didn't and I'm this far along, I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Aqua Liner. And this is in the number five which is a pretty blue, and I'm just gonna line above my lash line to bring a little extra pop of blue. There, it just brings a little bit of extra intensity to that blue on the upper lash line. To finish today's look, I am gonna spray some perfume, and I am using Vera Wang's Love Struck. Look how cute this bottle is. Isn't that adorable? The flowers on top. You know what, I bought it without even smelling it, but I got it home and it was actually smelled really good too, so that was just a bonus, so we'll get some of that on. All right, folks, that's my finished look. Here's the, the final and finished look from the um, Hello Kitty palette here, which is her Hello Pretty palette. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're glad that I'm back. I'll have much more videos. I hope you're all having a really great day and enjoying your summer so far. And please subscribe and click like down below and uh, share it with all your friends because I'm still trying to hit that 250 subscriber mark, which I had hoped to do by summer. So thanks for watching. Bye.